behind-the-scenes version of Quick Query Critique, which I offer at MarlaMiller.com. This is our first of the new year, and this gentleman has been waiting for quite some time, so I would like to go ahead and, and um, read it. But before I do, we had some really cool action uh, on the last query letter that we critiqued. There were lots of comments, and we went back and forth for, for several days. Um, I invite you to do that. I check the site. Um, if I don't, my trusted editor, Martha, lets me know that there's comments there waiting for me. Um, and so, you know, we can get even more from this quick query critique than um, what I offer here through critique my query but let me go ahead and do that right now okay um, dear blank I am seeking publication of Sheila's Folly a mainstream novel of 85,000 words Mike Brady's battling with the town of Oakdale and Pat Quinn to close the infamous strip club called the Castlegate Club and drive Quinn and his gang of hoodlums out of town, or better still, into prison cells. It's not bad enough Mike hates Quinn for stealing his girlfriend in high school, the girl he planned to share his life with. But now, several years later, Quinn buys a club in the town Mike lives in and converts it into an illegal strip club where his goons that work for him there as security men beat a young college student to death. Mike's son is one of the three students involved in the altercation, or assault would be a better description of what happened. Mike's willing to become a select man against his wife's wishes in the struggle he's waging, and she's threatening him with a divorce if he doesn't stop his crusade and move to Albany, where she's from and where her parents still live. But Mike can't back down. He never could. I would be happy to forward the manuscript, and thank you for your consideration. Sincerely. Okay. Well, okay, so what do I think of this query letter? Well, I think that this author on the road uh, writes very, very long sentences. And so I would, right off the bat, uh, my first speed bump in reading this, and you probably could tell uh, because I could barely catch my breath, was just literally reading um, sentences that are five lines long. And again, we post this on on um, the site here at Critique My Queries. So take a look at that long sentences that need to be broken up. Okay, um, that's number one. And every one, every paragraph, there's three paragraphs here that all have sentences that need to be uh, recrafted. Okay, that's number one. Number two, um, he does not, uh, Mike is the protagonist, Pat's the bad guy, and we need a little more delineation of that in paragraph two. Uh, so I think you should take a look at that. Um, the other thing is, um, if, let me see, oh, in the, in the third paragraph, fourth paragraph, um, Mike's willing to become a select man. Now, it could just be a generational thing, but I don't know what select man is. Now, if it's hit man, or if it's like militia, or something like that, um, fine, but I don't know select man, I don't know that term. And chances are, if I don't know it, maybe agents won't know it either, and unless it is a, a generational thing, and it could very well be. Okay, um, I think that this that this letter has oh uh, uh, another thing. He does say that it's a mainstream novel. Um, it doesn't sound like a mainstream novel. It sounds like a genre novel. Um, however. That said, I think that um, that this author needs to develop this story a bit better. I'm not saying that I don't like it. I'm kind of interested in it, as a matter of fact. Um, so this, the protagonist has a vendetta against a guy who hasn't been a good guy since their high school days. Uh, when he when he showed his true colors by stealing Mike's girlfriend, uh, who I assume now is going to maybe play prominently in this or maybe not. Uh, we know Mike's wife is going to divorce him if he doesn't move back home to her hometown. Um, so if Mike is the kind of guy who would put his uh, family life um, at risk in, in order to I think play cops and robbers with this guy who's bad blood in his town. 
um, then I would develop that more. Um, is, Mike a, is Mike a member of the police force? Is he a detective? Is he a lawyer? Is he? I, I don't know. Uh, the other thing is that I don't know anything about this writer. Uh, none of his credits. Uh, and I think at least a sentence is, is, is needed to let us know who you are. Um, beyond that, I'm not going to say too much more because my guess is, is that this writer um, needs to perhaps work on the storyline. Um, as I've said many times, query letters tend to, to flow better when we really have our, our stories nailed. May not be the case here, but it could be. And so at this point, I am having a bit of difficulty staying engaged in the story. And I think that the long winding sentences are one reason why. And then there's some confusion. When you write sentences that are five lines long, you know, I think even the best authors uh, risk confusing the readers when they do that. So that's all I'm going to say for this one. Again, jump on the comments section. We'd love to hear from you at The Writer Magazine. Until the next time, I'm Marla Miller from MarlaMiller.com. Come visit me here at my website. Thanks.